What's up everybody, it's your boy the Incredible Joe back at it again with one more time with another video. Like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that notification bell so you get these videos first. You can like first, you can comment first. Today, uh, I'm kind of starting my video somewhere new. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never really started a video over here before. Why am I starting a video over here? I don't know. You know, something else to do. You know what I'm saying? Another place to be. But today is not going to be action packed. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be too crazy and nothing like that. I just kind of want to sit back and talk about something because I've been having a conversation about it the past few days over and over and over again just to keep you guys updated the car is on the way um you know what i'm saying so don't sleep on me you know what i'm saying It'll be here soon shortly you know what i'm saying we'll have it on the channel we'll be getting so done with it because like i said before the goal is two seventeen hundred to 2000 crank horsepower you know what i'm saying and then we'll go from there i don't know if it's gonna be a giveaway yet i said it but it depends man we put a certain amount of money into a car and sentimental value it's a lot harder said it's a lot harder to do it than to say it. You know what I'm saying? Like giving it away. Like, cause 1,700, 2,000 horsepower, that's not a cheap build at all. So, um, people come to here, like, well, I got my camera in my hand. They be like, man, who is that? I think a lot of times they just want to know who it is. But 1,700 to 2,000 horsepower is not a cheap build at all. So, when you put that much money into a vehicle, I feel like it's a lot harder to do it than to say it. And I'm going to give it away. So, we'll see when that time comes. But today, what we're doing is we're going to talk about the new. Corvette C8, yes. I was gonna make a video about this a while ago, but then I was like, nah, I ain't gonna do it, cause I ain't really, uh. But then I started talking about it to everybody else, and people asked me questions about it. So I was like, well, I might as well go ahead and make a video about it. And plus, only so I had one of my um, one of my guys send me a picture of it, you know what I'm saying, showing, asking what I thought of it, and that kind of stuff. So I was like, you know what? I might as well go ahead and make the video. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the car. We're gonna ride, we're gonna talk. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to get to talking about what's going on today. So y'all enjoy this video, man. And by the way, drop a comment below and let me know what y'all think about the C8. But anyway, man, let's go ahead and dive into it. All right, y'all, now we up in this car. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit. Now, <clears throat> ah, my bad. Now, from comments that I've seen across Instagram, YouTube, things like that, other YouTubers, a lot of people aren't really feeling the C8. Now, this is my take on it, right? I think we're just so programmed to like, this is the thing, No, people don't like change. You know what I'm saying? Well, I remember when the C7 came out, people, oh, that, yeah, I don't like the C7, and woo, woo. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's still stuck on the C6. Nobody wanted the C7 to be a thing on the road. Now, people can't wait for the C8 to come out so they can get a C7. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the wide body charger. People's like, why are you doing a wide body on a charger? That's gonna look crazy. Woo -woo. Now everybody on Instagram talking about, man, that thing is hard. Woo -woo. And then you got people. It's just we don't like change. That's all it is. Um, to me, to be, and some people really might not like it. I'm not down in people's opinion. I don't want to push my opinion off on anybody else because it's not right. It's not how you do stuff. But I do feel like we need to give the car a chance. Now, me personally, I think it looks like a, uh, the Acura NSX like a little bit like the older NSX to, to an extent, just like the body lines and stuff like that. I think it looks just like that car to be honest, but either way, I think the new C8 is gonna be hard. I cannot wait to see it on the street. I think it's gonna be the absolute nastiest, one of the nastiest cars on the road, just to be honest with you, look appearance wise. Now, I think the way the car looks, um, I got 392 Brown Bear, he said it looked like a McLaren slash NSX slash Ferrari slash I think this um I say everybody's entitled to their opinion I think with the new mid-engine being a thing I feel like you kind of had to expect those kind of appearance packages to be a thing like I feel like you had to expect it to look a certain way you knew it wasn't gonna look like the C7 you know what I'm saying you knew it wasn't gonna look like that I, the thing is people feel like it's not America you know what I'm saying like what is that because we want to be honest the new Camaros don't look anything like an American car the new Mustangs don't really look like American. Well, I don't know how the Mustangs do. The new Camaros don't really like that though. The 19s anyway. But even like the 19s, nobody like the, you know what I'm saying? Nobody gives the 19 a chance until the 2020 comes out. Then everybody will give a chance. Dang, y'all give me one second. All right, y'all, my bad. I had to answer the phone real quick. But like I was saying, like I said, we just gotta get a car a chance. Now, I do see a couple things that maybe they should have done differently. And I didn't know anything about it until I saw like the leaked images. Uh, the back end of it and really um, the way the back end look it's nice to me but it's at the same time it's like it's up in the air like I like it because it's different 
and I like to see new things and the way things, you know what I'm saying? I just like to do new stuff and the way new stuff looks. But at the same time, it's kind of like, hmm, I want to look in person, right? And on top of what Street Speed said the other day, where's the heat release for the car with it being a mid-engine car? You know what I'm saying? I was looking at that because, I mean, with most managing cars, you do see some type of release vents or something. Now, I did see two vents on the side of the back uh, quarter panels, like on the back of those quarter panels. But I think that's probably for like the brakes. Um, so more than likely, GM knew what they were doing. I feel like this has been a long awaited project. I feel like they probably did exactly what they should have did to get the car to be able to breathe and flow at a very, very high level because at the end of the day, it's still a Corvette, so it's going to be a track car. Um, so I feel like they know exactly what they're doing when it came to that. I feel like there won't be an issue as far as the car being able to release heat and all that kind of stuff. What are you doing? What are you? This kind of stuff you do in Atlanta, man. This is why we have to have merge issue lights and all that kind of stuff because people like him, don't know how to just take their time, bro. Just take, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Boy, you was dumb. Anyway, um, he not driving. He on his phone playing. But yeah, I feel like GM did the car exactly the way it's gonna need to be done for it to actually breathe and function the way it's supposed to um, go. Now, as far as the performance side of the vehicle, do I feel like the performance be enhanced? Hell yeah, it's a mid-engine car, so now the car is more pushing than pulling. You know what I'm saying? So I'm ready to see what it does um, as far as like in the realm of which we do things on the streets, roll racing, dig racing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the Nurban ring and all that kind of stuff, that's cool, but who, I don't really care about that because I don't go to no road course places and all that kind of stuff. I go to the drag strip and to the highway. That's what I do. Uh, drag strip, Mexico. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Most people that buy that car aren't going to a road course. They're going to go straight to the road. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm ready to see what it does performance wise there. Do I think it'll outperform the C7s and all that kind of stuff? I don't know, man. I really don't. Unless, I. you know what? I'm not going to say, I, I really feel like it will as long as they don't make it extra heavy or anything like that, which I don't really know what comes with having to having a mid-engine car. As far as the mid-engines that we know of, for the most part, I believe they're lighter, if I'm not mistaken. I know the McLaren 570S is really light. Uh, it's even lighter than the C7 CR1, which we know is pretty much carbon fibered out. I think it's got a carbon fiber um, roof, if I'm not mistaken, or carbon fiber hood, one or two. But it's like, it's got a lot of carbon fiber on the inside of the car. It's just carbon fiber everywhere on that car. Don't quote me on where I said it was. But I just know it's a lot of carbon fiber on the ZR1, the C7 model. So if the McLaren 570S is a lot lighter than that, you know what I'm saying? That's what they build those cars for. Now, the only thing about that is, it's still GM. It's still an American product. So I don't really know how light they plan on getting with the car. We will see most definitely, but I don't know. If they can keep the car, where it's at now, 3700, 3741, I think. 30, I think it's 3000. Yeah, I think it's 3741, 45, something like that. So if they can keep it around there, I think it'll outperform the C7, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that's just what their goal is to do, is to outperform the C7 ZR1 uh, from the factory. I think they'll do that. I don't know how easy it is for them to do that, but we'll see. Another thing I want to touch on is the price. So the price of the vehicle they say is going to be four thousand dollars for each. Each model is going to be four thousand dollars more than the, the current C7 models. So if the car costs, if a, if a Stingray costs fifty-four thousand, it'll be fifty-eight thousand for the C8 models. Now I honestly thought with it being a C8 mid-engine car, I thought it was going to be like a hundred grand starting off. That's what I was expecting it to be. Do I feel like it'd be worth that from the looks of it? Yes. That's just me because I love the way it looks. And I love that, you know what I'm saying, that foreign look to it. I feel like it's gonna have a foreign feel. Uh, I actually got some pictures of the interior today out of an article. Um, one of my guys sent it to me in an article. It was an interior picture and all that kind of stuff. If the interior really does look like that, which I think personally, somebody really, they're really leaking the real pictures. These are the, way, this is the way the car's gonna look. So that as far as the back of it, the front of it, because if that interior looks anything like that picture, they are going to smoke game. It's going to be ridiculous. 
So if the interior looks like that, the exterior looks like that. Honestly, I think they could they should start the car at five hundred thousand. No, I'm sorry, at a hundred thousand. The only reason I feel like that's not happening is because when you look at America, you know what I'm saying, the cars that we have now, you're gonna kill off a lot of people from buying a C8 if you start off at a hundred thousand. So I think that's probably why they didn't start off that high. I think it'd be worth it. Now, is it something I feel like should you like you should go ahead and what did you do? Put it in, put in your pre-order. You know what I'm saying? What is it called? Did you pre-order down payment, all that kind of stuff? In the YouTube world, I feel like it's gonna be a hot car, but I feel like it's only gonna be hot for so long. Like the demon. The demon was only hot for like two, three months, four months. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know, this the demon car it still gets views, but I feel like the CA's gonna be like that. That's why I don't go chasing the newest cars. First of all, I can't afford it. That's this be real. But second of all, because they're only gonna be hot for so long, and then you gotta brand new hundred thousand dollar car that's not that no one cares about anymore you know what i'm saying so i feel like it'll be worth it for the youtube crowd uh as far as being a collector's item i'm not really sure how many they're coming out with um i think it'll be the, a great collector's item for like the first of the mid-engine corvettes per se so if you get a first year mid-engine c8 i feel like it'll be in the game for sure because at the end of the day you know what i'm saying we even a c5 you can see fives can still cost you 20 something grand 30 something grand uh, C5 Z06. So the C8, I feel like it'll 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 hold its value pretty well because that's just what Corvette does. So y'all do me a favor, drop a comment below and let me know what y'all think about the new car. As far as I know, um, as of right now, I guess everything is speculation. I don't know if there's any just hard solid facts. I pretty much it's gonna have the same, you know, it's gonna not the same, but it's gonna have the 6.2 in it, all that kind of stuff. So it's still gonna be the V8 that we all love and know. So. Y'all drop a comment below and let me know what y'all think about the car because I'm very curious to know. Um, and to be honest, if y'all, um, I, I asked this question before, but if y'all know anybody that's getting a C8, drop a comment below. No, hit me my DMs at underscore the incredible Joe or email me and let me know if you know somebody that's getting a C8 Corvette that wouldn't mind me doing a review on it. Cause if I can get that review, that would be awesome. So if y'all don't mind, drop a comment below DM me, email me, or whatever, and we'll get together and most definitely get that review done because that's going to be ridiculous. But it's an incredible joke. I appreciate and love every last one of y'all. Like, subscribe, comment, and share, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.